Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Wyatt and today I'll be teaching you how to script custom animations on Roblox. Okay, so before I show you how to make this script, I just want to show you how it works. So all we have to do is go into the game and as you'll see whenever we jump, rather than it playing the default Roblox animation, it plays our own. Okay, so now that you know what the script does, I actually want to show you how to make it. So the first thing that you want to do is rather than me showing you how to code it right away, I want to show you how Roblox loads their animations in. Basically what this script is doing is it's replacing the default animation with our own. Um, so we just want to go in and understand exactly how Roblox does it so that we can simulate it through code. Um, so what happens is if we look under our character object right here when we're playing the game, we have this animate script. And under here are all these different actions. We have sit, we have run, jump, all these different actions. Um, and this is what determines what animation Roblox is going to play when we perform that action. So if we jump, what's happening is this jump anim is playing. This jump anim under the character, it's loading in the animation ID from the properties, and then it's playing it on our character. So the way we change that to make it do a custom animation is just to change this animation ID value right here through code. Um, so the first thing that we want to do is actually create our animation. Um, I'm not going to fully go over how to animate. Uh, I think there are tons of other videos on that if you want to check them out. I have a few on my channel. Um, but I'll go over the basics just so that you kind of get a grasp on what we're trying to do. Um, so all we're going to do, we're going to click on this rig builder under the plugins tab and we'll create a new rig. Um, and then after this, I want to grab the animation editor plugin. It's on Roblox. It's installed by default. And then we want to select the rig that we want to animate. And this is just going to make sure that Roblox knows, okay, this is where we're grabbing our animation from rather than some other rig in the workspace. Um, and then we want to give our animation a name. So I'm just going to name mine jump animation. But maybe if you're making a walk animation or you're making some other kind of animation, you want to name it the animation that you're making just so that it's nice and easy for you to understand in the future. Um, so after we create this, again, I said I'm not going to go over the details of the animation editor. You can check out another video, but we just want to create our animation. So I'm going to make mine right here. We're, I think I'm going to start my arms off like this and then a little bit further in, I'm going to make the move backwards or something like that just to show the difference from this in the default Roblox animation. And then I'm going to go back to that original position a little bit later on. And I think, you know, it's not a jump animation, but it's something noticeable that we can override the default one with just so that we know it's the animation that's ours that's playing. Um, so after you do this, this next part is very important. You want to click on wherever it says our animation name right here. Uh, and then you want to click where it says set animation priority. And all this is going to do is if we click on action, it sets it so that it'll play whenever the player's moving and it's not going to cancel. If we were to set our animation priority to core or to idle, what would happen is if the player is moving around or they were jumping, whenever they did that, the animation would just stop. So it's really important that you set the animation priority to action so that it doesn't get overrided by the other Roblox animations. So after you have that done, we're good to export our animation. So I'm just going to click on export give it a good name, click submit. Uh, and then what you want to do, another very important piece is you want to grab this animation ID right here. Uh, and that's what we're going to use to tell Roblox what animation to play. We, we need that animation ID. So after you have that, the animating's done, the hard part's done. Now we can actually get into the fun part, which is scripting. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new script under server script service. And I'm just going to name it custom jump animation. But again, if you were making like a walk animation, the same concept applies. Um, and the first thing that I want to do is I want to get whenever a player joins the game. So when a player is added, the way we do that is we call the game.players.player added event. Um, so I'll just say game.players.player added and we'll connect it up to a function just like that. And then inside of this function, I want to get whatever player was added. So not the name of the player, but the player object itself. So whenever a player joins the game, I want to get their player. Uh, and then after this, what we want to do is we want to get when the player's character is added to them, um, to their player object. Uh, and the reason we're doing this is because if we were just to run some code on the player right away, what well, you'd run the first time they spawn in, but what happened, it's not like they rejoin. This event doesn't get fired every time they reset their character. So we want to make sure that we set that animation ID, that we override it every single time their character gets added or every time they reset. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to hook into the character added event of player. 
So I'm going to say player dot character added, and I'll connect it up to a function, just like this. And then in here, I'm going to get the player's character, or you could just say player dot character. It's up to you. Uh, and then in here, we only have one more line to go, and this is the most vital line of the whole script. All we're going to do is we're going to go in like I was doing manually earlier, and we're going to change that animation value so that Roblox knows to play our animation rather than their own animation. So we're going to say character dot animate, which is that script that I was showing you. And then we want to next we want to say dot, and then we want to pass in whatever action we want to do. So we want to do the jump action. So I'm going to say dot jump. And then we want to get the animation under that because remember when the way it was set up we had jump was a string value and then under that string value we had an animation i think it was an animation object um, and then in there we have the animation id so we're going to do that same thing but we're trying to do it through code to set the value of this animation id so character.animate.jump and then we're going to say dot jump anim or if it was like walk anim or whatever uh, action it was anim is how you want to say it uh, and then we want to say dot animation ID. We want to set the animation ID property. Uh, and then we could just paste it in, but I like to do it just by saying RBX asset ID colon slash slash because sometimes it's going to bug out if somebody created an animation at the same time as you. So just make sure you have this RBX asset ID colon slash slash and then you paste in the animation ID you copied from earlier. And that's all we have to do for this. It's super easy. Um, if we go in, we can test it out. And let's just see if we jump. There we go. It plays our custom animation. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, I'll have the pastebin link with the code and the Roblox model link with all the assets shown in this video in the description. And I'll see you guys later.